Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are getting started this week already thinking about the weekend. And so this Saturday will be my first event, my first real event since COVID. I used to do these pop-ups and, and different events all the time. Um, and then COVID hit and I really haven't done anything. So I figured I'd bring you guys along so you kind of get to see what it's like prepping for an event like this. So I have a, a whole list of things that I have to do. One of the things that I'm looking at today is doing some kind of plexiglass barrier uh, for the booth because you know people you don't want people coming close to the food i was thinking of getting some like used like wood crates i think i might have enough props that i don't do i need do i need one no i think we need to have things in trays and i know goodwill has those maybe that will be my first stop then i'll go to office depot so I think that's what we're gonna do today. Ooh, my hair looks crazy. Okay, so Goodwill trip, very successful. So I got three different trays and they're all different wicker and wood and they're relatively the same size. And I know I have another tray like that at home already. So four trays should be more than enough. And so that's taken care of. And that was a grand total of $11. You can find great stuff at Goodwill. Pro tip, um, next stop, Office Depot. Office Depot trip, total failure. <laughs> um, you know those things cost, like the plexiglass shields, they cost like $150. It's plastic, people. Uh, but it's like a mattress, you know, like they know you need one. So we're going the DIY route. The good thing is that Home Depot is like literally same parking lot so i'm just gonna move the car and uh and go into home depot and we're gonna get a plexiglass sheet and these um like it's a, a wall mount situation it's gonna be interesting and then we're going to diy you this by the way it's not for a beyonce effect this is the ac blowing because it's literally 90 degrees outside today Here's the thing that happened at Home Depot. This is not the best setup, but one second. I feel like I am 8,000 miles away from the camera. Is this better? You can see the huge mess that is behind me. That's not great. All right, that's a little better. Office Depot. So at Office Depot, it turns out those plexiglass shields are insanely expensive. So went to Home Depot because I saw this video on YouTube where you could just build one yourself and you could get the plexiglass sheet and these like wall mounts and you just screw them in to like form little feet and it stands on its own. Seems simple enough. Found somebody to help me. So then the woman was nice enough and probably sensed that I had no idea what I'm doing and just suggested that I get this other kind of plexiglass that's a little thicker and a little more expensive but it already came with like pre-made feet and it's like these um like you kind of like slide them into each other it came out to be like 10 more dollars than it would have been to diy the whole thing but at least i know i will mess it up <laughs> you gotta play to your strengths you know just gotta know what you're good at what you're not let's play around with this plexiglass situation and make sure that it works because I don't want to leave it to the last day and then figure out that it's not as easy as it seems, so. All right, success. 
look at that I won't remove like obviously this is gonna be clear but I don't want to remove the um, whatever this thing is called like the protective shield or whatever the protective shield for the protective shield um, until the day of because I don't want it to get ruined but I think this is gonna work out well in terms of size like we can definitely fit the trays behind here you can fit exactly three of them and then there's always gonna be space like behind them as well so I can go like that that way as well so it's one piece of the puzzle figured out so now we have to move on to the next one whatever that is back to the office to figure that out let's cross that off the list love me a good crossing off the list moment done plexiglass done now do i have enough boxes i'm looking up because that's where i keep my boxes uh do i have enough to go boxes yes i do have enough to go boxes oh yeah so the next thing is to make a schedule and a timeline to make sure that i have enough product for the day of because that's the thing with croissants like it's not like cookies where you can just be like the day of or the night before be like oh shoot i don't have enough let me just make some more like it takes 20 plus hours to make croissants so i gotta make sure that i space it out and that i don't drive myself crazy which is what i used to do back in the beginning of when i started the bakery uh we don't do that anymore we prep in advance so we don't have a mental breakdown progress sometimes most times so anyways let's get to working on that timeline now Okay, so the lighting here is not ideal because it's still kind of dark outside. Um, dashboard says 651, which means it's actually more like 630. I leave my clocks ahead because I'm always late. Um, anyways, I'm about to head over to the kitchen. Obviously, we are in work mode. Hair's up in a bun um, to make some croissant dough for this weekend. Have the kitchen to myself which is always a great thing so here's what we're gonna do i need to use the big mixer just to make a bunch of croissant dough uh, and then i'm gonna have to divide that dough put it away get back to it hours later to actually roll it out and do all the process but the first thing is just mixing all the ingredients getting it all separated and into the right batches So, just had a productive couple hours at Book and Bottle. I came to drop off some food, and then I just brought my laptop and I just kind of got some work done. Sent out a newsletter telling people about the pop-up, that people actually show up. That's always good. Um, and uh, some people already replied saying they're coming, so that's really cool. Um, what do I need to do for the rest of the day? Now, I actually need to eat. I am starving, so. I'm gonna do that. All right, let's get 
this started. Oh my god, you guys, I am dead. I am so freaking tired. <laughs> it's been a long day and it started at 4.30 in the morning. In that, I left the kitchen and I left them proofing. So they're doing their thing, growing. And uh, I couldn't even think of making myself dinner after all of that. So I just swung by Tijuana Flats that's my go-to comfort food anyways i'm gonna go and go stuff my face now before i get a few hours of sleep so i will see you guys after my five hour hopefully five hour nap when we head to the kitchen to finish this off okay checking in on the croissants look at them They've been growing. All right, they are ready to go in the oven now. Technically, this is day of now. It is 12.40. Just got to the kitchen. So I had a solid four hours of sleep. That's always good. Uh, not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired, but when I get going, I'll wake up and um, to be out of here by 2 30 3 a.m at the latest so then i can get home and have a good runway of time to actually get all of the other things that i need to get in the car and ready to go and maybe even maybe take a nap before i have to shower and get ready so that may be wishful thinking but we'll see so anyways let's get started with this baking got home it is 5 45 i swear time speeds up when i'm in the kitchen it just does i don't know how it happens i think the kitchen is in some kind of like weird like alternative time zone it just everything speeds up while i'm there anyways i'm home now um look like a million bucks as you can see um this is the face of somebody that hasn't gotten much sleep and badly needs a shower but before i do that um i need to make sure i have everything else that i need if you hear yelling in the background it's the peacocks they've already started for the day the difference a couple of hours makes your girl showered <laughs> and ate breakfast and uh, now I feel like a new person and I brushed my hair and now I look and feel like a human again. So now I'm just gonna finish loading up the car, start getting ready to head out. And as I'm about to do that, of course, this never gets old. There he is. Hello, gorgeous. All right, now let's get to it. Loading this car. We're getting to the finish line. We're almost there. We're almost there. 
Okay, so we are an hour in because I set up and there were already people waiting when I got here. So that's awesome. And then I've been crazy busy for the last hour. So we're about an hour in and the lemon ones are gone and sold out, which is awesome. Okay, we're all set up. The plexiglass worked just fine. Yay. And uh, I'll see what the rest of the day has to offer. Okay, so we finally have like a little bit of a lull right at noon, so we're two hours in. Um, most of the stuff is like on its the last part of it. Like I've emptied pretty much all the bins. There's a few extras, but mostly everything's on the table, so everything's going well. And now that I for once don't have to, um, you know, there's not a line, I am snacking on an ugly croissant. So whatever is too ugly to sell, it's my lunch. Are you kidding me? We have four croissants left. Four. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. It's like 2 p.m. right now and uh, got it packed up just packed up and had to leave because there was no nothing else to sell um that's amazing and just this makes it all worth it honestly you guys are amazing thank you for showing up for being you and for talking to me and talking about how you are looking forward to this and that's just it means the world to me this video has shown you how doing this is no joke there's a lot of work that goes into it it's a lot of hours but every time that I get to interact with you guys and you tell me that you planned your weekend around this or you were looking forward to it and you had it last time and you can't wait you put a smile under my face and you can't you, you put a smile on my face under my mask and you can't see it in because I have the mask on but just know that I'm smiling really big um, because um, you allow me to do what I love and it means a, a whole lot. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comments if you came to the event and what you thought about it. If you like me to do um, more of these um, and if you're not local, let me know if you would like to see these croissants near you. So I will see you guys soon. In the meantime, make sure you hit hit the subscribe mm, ooh. I will see you guys soon in the meantime make sure you hit that subscribe button give it a like do all the things you already know and I will see you soon stay curious until then